Meantime, we are moving on into our first losers quarters match okay. of Helper versus Ling. Do we call this one the Battle of Bias Comms? <laughs> All right, I'll 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 be on I'll be on Helper's uh, side for this. No, I'm 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 just kidding. I'm just kidding, fo folks. But uh, Ling is in my carpool, so if he doesn't win this event, then I'm gonna have a very sad car. Ride. Somebody's walking home. Well, now I'm driving. <laughs> it's not gonna be. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, okay. I did not say that. I will still drive <laughs> that man home regardless. Hold on. That's not how it works in this household. Ling right now is working for that carpool spot. Already getting 90% on Helper. And looking to potentially take his first stock already. And Peach, one of the characters, Peach with turnips and, and float is so effective at ledge trapping in Sora. Uh, that floatiness and the flexibility offstage can be great, but Peach also right can just occupy that offstage space, ace that aerial space to an even greater degree. And having the project, the item you can throw in any direction, it's just so hard for Sora to out flexibility the way Peach controls the air. Absolutely. I mean, you know, both uh, the vegetables and as well just the float, just being such a consistent threat there at the ledge. But Helper catching Ling, pressing the advantage a little bit too hard. Counter, unfortunately, not going to be taking things just yet. And Ling continues to live as the rage builds. Uh, he might be a child, but uh, he really does not like his vegetables all that much. <laughs> I feel like Sora would eat his veggies. He's he's a good boy. I you know, but they also taught him and you know, this is also the first time I've ever seen the mouse come after a princess, so what do you know? I mean since Anastasia, that's all. <laughs> since Anastasia. Alright, Helper trying to fight his way off of the uh, off of the corner with the Faraga and the rolls as well, but Ling already just having such a good read of Helper trying to force the issue. But finally though, Helper on the board but already getting sent off stage and one sixteen percent boot. And now Helper kind of fainting the around the world, going back to ledge, uh, using that double, that jump, re that full hop reset, just floating back down um, and trying to find a way out of the corner. Ling not letting him have it, and now just both players scrapping once again. It's going to be Helper finding the juggle situation, but it's going to Ling's float timing mix up is going to allow him to find. The reversal into the corner pressure. And I'm not sure I agree with Helper using that uh, Thundaga mix-up under the stage so early because you know now Ling is going to be looking for it and Helper did not get much off of it landing the first time. Sometimes it's about uh, of the conditioning for future mix-ups. Sometimes it's about just creating the space and you're not even trying to catch them off guard with it. You just need them to respect it so that they mm -hmm. don't occupy that in the future. Or, or we're seeing Helper fuck. Find some some mix-ups like that random down smash, right? Able to find its mark and eventually close out the stock, but the off off stage pressure from Helper gonna do it. 121. You have to be aware of that behind because those hips do not lie for. <laughs> Absolutely not. For throw, not gonna be taking things just yet. Helper using that counter to keep himself safe from the turnips, but this is a no jump and, Sora. Yep, that Blizzaga was a, a really choice over commitment from him because it allowed this whole excess situation to happen. If he had just grabbed ledge then he would have had the invulnerability, been able to reset at least maybe back to stage. Somehow finds a way back regardless, but eat on a whole extra 50%. Almost anything Peach does is gonna take it, and this character I think the single most terrifying in Ultimate when she is has her back. Oh, absolutely. And that back air going to be putting Ling a game up against Helper. Ling's SDI there was beautiful, by the way, out of, the, out of that Arkham ladder. Yeah, and this is, you know, just what we've been seeing, like, this entire game one is Helper trying to force the issue, and Ling just reading that perfectly and keeping himself spaced just outside of Sora's threat range. All right, moving over to Battlefield here for game two. Sora, obviously a huge fan of this stage. Are you able to use those platform extensions, ladder you all the way off the top? Most features really don't like this stage, but Ling is an exception to that rule, believing if you play patient, eventually your opponent has to put themselves above Peach, and then they're in disadvantage. Yeah, then, you know, you have to deal with up airs, you have to deal with forward airs coming down, you have to deal with back airs, and already we're seeing the pressure coming out from Ling, having Helper there at the ledge as Helper tries to find another one of those falling up airs to start, you know, start making the game his once again.
Ling, though, trying to prove that he is still him, and despite that early loss to Tropical, right, that he still can make it back to and hopefully past Tropical or into the later stage of the bracket, beating Helper here today is the ultimate start. Finding that up air one into a whole bunch of damage, just forcing Helper to play about as hectic as humanly possible. Oh, it felt like a one-sided scrap. Helper's scrapping, but Ling's, Ling's still on that set play. Yeah, Ling, Ling is continuing to play his game right now, catching the jump at the top there. And yeah, Helper has just not been able to really like meaningfully find his way out of the corner. It's always just back into disadvantage for Helper. And already, you know, another stock down. Helper already kind of shaking his head. I mean, and I have to imagine we're going to be seeing a... Uh, the triple nair off the vol through. Ling playing like it's Elite Smash right now Absolutely. to get that combo started. Just sometimes the simplest cross-ups are the best. Some beautiful DI to find the way back to stage. And the early parasol float cancel. Ling has the best parasol mix-ups in the world. Just his knowledge of that, the spacing of that move, the angles, the drift speed is immaculate. Mm -hmm. And even with that sort of like floaty, long active pressure that Sora can exude off stage, Helper still not able to find this first stock. Meanwhile, Ling looking to make this a three stock here. The edge of the platform, though, might give Helper the chance to take that stock. Ling wanting to catch that turn up there, continue that, that turn up pressure, but not able to do so. Uh, the Dragon Ball moment going in Helper's favor, but at 134 at ledge, he needs to avoid this set knockback counter. The, the set damage counter, sorry, and in, only that knockback growth changes if you weren't aware. Back throw is going to do it, but the pressure from Ling, that whole Absolutely. game, there was nowhere Helper could run, there was nowhere he could hide. Because I don't know if that was Princess, I don't know if that's a parasol or an axe she's holding, but it felt like she was bursting through the door asking, well, yelling, here's Johnny. And like you were saying before, this entire last stock felt like, uh, you know, Ling cashing out on what you were saying before of Helper trying to just kind of mash his way through. And we saw two consecutive counters coming out from Ling. Just like, I know you're going to continue to press buttons. I have an answer for it. Anyway, coming in to our game three as Helper is potentially on his uh, tournament game. And the uh, counter pick is Small Battlefield coming out from Helper. This stage is definitely a little bit better for Pe Peach than Battlefield is, but I think also it's a comfort thing, right? Like, we saw a Helper take numbers here the entire set, and it was it was definitely, like, partially a comfort thing, right? That the, this is a stage, especially here at Xeno, you, you see as much as, if not more, than PS2, and a lot of players are very comfortable there. Yeah, and I feel like comfort is really what it comes down to, just because it felt like the gap in game two was so great that if you're not really able to even get the strengths of your counter pick in game two, you may as well just go for comfort. Ling, though, starting to even recognize these side special timings from Helper, right? Just willing to do a grounded dash back away. Helper still able to close out the stock, getting his first stock and the, the head pump afterwards. He's feeling himself locked and loaded, not letting that mental break entirely. But he needs to find a way to extend this lead because oh, just taking no. the stock first isn't what it takes. And from the head pump to the SD. That's that's not what you want to see for the helper confidence. And neither is this 60% damage off of one single turnip. Ling is not phased at all. And helper just sighing, nodding. He's standing. over. He's done. He, I, wow. When you get red well, that far when, in advance on the tech roll... And also, on top of that, when you were feeling good about yourself, you, you were like, okay, I am locked and loaded, I can clutch this, I can do this, I can get this game, and immediately SD. It's, it's over. It's like a punch to the gut. And, like, I... I don't... You know, I, I feel awful. Like, you never want to see someone go out that way. But... Boy, do I get that. Yeah. I get that SD. I give that giving yeah, up in bracket like, more than any <laughs> other one I've ever seen. That is the most, like, yeah, I'm going to go get some food now kind of vibes I've ever yeah. I've ever felt. 